creating a contour map from aerial mapping using block inserts. What I have here on the screen is from an aerial mapping company point blocks with elevations. In other words, spot shots. And break line data. Now, the break line data must be observed and adjusted accordingly. If you'll notice, this river line is going under this road. Well, it will conflict if both set of data is involved in the selection set when contouring. So the first thing I'm going to do is break 3D polyline. Select the polyline to break. I'm going to break it from here to here. And then I'm going to break it from here to here. I don't want the river going under. Even though it does, I don't want to model that part of it. The next thing is to contour the map using the 3D break line data and the block inserts. There's a special feature that must be turned on in order to do this. It's in the DTM module under the contour, triangulate and contour, and you must specify selection options. I'm going to make a two foot contour map using the INT layer for my intermediates and draw my index contours and I'm going to tell it to use inserts block inserts 10 foot index interval using the index layer select OK select the inclusion enter exclusion enter for none do a crossing to select the data and I've created my contour map including using the inserts. Now take a look at the difference using them and not using them would make. Make a note of the hillside here and the flat valley floor here. Let's delete layer and get rid of the intermediate index layers. Contour triangulate and contour. This time we will not use the inserts as ServCAD defaults. Select OK. Inclusion, enter, exclusion, enter for none. I'll type all to select the objects. And notice no contours here, nothing to triangulate. The valley floor is less defined without the spot shots contributing. So I'll undo twice, get this back, and now I've created a topo map from aerial mapping using break lines and block inserts.